Hmm. In today's episode, we're sculpting this, which means we're carving this into this. We'll show you how it's done, work some mad detailing magic, recap our sculpture, and dazzle you with cinematics. Want top five entertainment in under 40 minutes? Then stick around. <laughs> good morning, good day, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to the channel. I'm your host, City Sculptor, and you've made your way to Pangasus Bay. <laughs> We've got a big episode for you today. We're building out our immigration district. It's going to feature a passenger harbor, a train station, and even some specialized industry. So be sure to stick around to the end. We're going to recap it all complete with cinematics. And just as a reminder, we are a new channel, so if you like what you see, be sure to chip away at that like button and hammer that subscribe button to stay up to date with everything we're doing here in Grand Vanillica and Pinyasas Bay. So with all that as a backdrop, let's do this. Let's get building on this thing. We're going to build out a trumpet interchange over here to start. And I'm going to have this thing kind of offset at an angle and have it run down, kind of curving along, and then ultimately coming across onto this island over here. So the first thing we have to do is we need to grab some of these single lane highway roads. We need to build you know, little bridges that, that shoot across the interchange. So we'll do that. We'll bring this one out to about, let's call it there. And then we'll come back over here and we'll bring it the other way back in. In fact, I'm going to bring this out a little bit further and I'm going to do the same thing with the other one, just because I want them to be just a little bit longer. We always want to kind of overshoot our target a little bit. Okay. And now, we can come in and I'm going to, I'm going to connect those two just temporarily. I'm going to grab my landscaping tool, my shift terrain tool. And I'm going to bring this up just a little bit. See if we can do that to get it up even with roughly the bridge deck. And I think that height's going to be about right. Let's take a look. Yeah, I think that's going to do just fine. We're going to do that. We're going to bring this out. So it's a nice big surface that we can land on. And then I'm going to, Tear down those. In fact, I'll tear down this third one as well. And bring our roads in to land just perfectly down here, nice and flat on this, almost like a little mini plateau. And we'll do the same thing coming back the other way. Okay. Change the direction there. Good. So now we can come back in and we're going to bring this back down to ground level. We'll give ourselves something to attach to. So run that out straight. That should do for now. And then we're going to do the same thing a little further down the road here. Just going to bring this out just for placeholders for now. All right. So now we're going to grab our slope terrain tool. Come down here and grab that height and then just curve this around. Yeah, something like that. Now we'll come through and build out our curve. 32 by 32. 32 by 34. That's close enough. And then we'll just bring that right on in. Look at that. And voila. Nice. Okay. Now we'll just do the same thing on the other side here. We're going to grab this height down here and bring this guy around like that. Slope the terrain down there so it matches up nice and neat like. Okay, that's going to look a lot better, isn't it? And I like that. I think it's a nice gentle, you know, gentle elevation change, making your way through that, through that trumpet interchange. Nice. Continuing on. Now what we need to do is we need to come in here and we do need to do our little um, lane maths, right? Love it. Okay. And then I don't get too close to that next interchange. I'm not, I'm not fighting with that. That's one of the things we wanted to try and avoid. So what we can do is we can come back in here now, just delete those, start connecting this lane with this one. We'll do the same over here. We'll come out here. We'll bring it into there. And look at that. It's got a nice gradual re-entry into that, into that freeway. All right. Now the next thing we have to do is we need to figure out how to extend these guys out. Get the height up. I'm going to bring that out here. Just, again, I like to draw these out a little bit longer. If I need to, I can always come in and cut them back. And then we're going to also have, I'm going to have a couple other lanes that are joining them. Okay. 
I'm going to use three lane roads, by the way. We want to get right in between these two, so let's turn off all of our snapping. It's pretty close, huh? Yeah, I think so. All right. So the next thing we need to do is we can come back in here and I'm going to cut each of these roads back. Boom, 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 boom. Just like that. And that allows us to come in with our single lane. Okay, so now we have to tie in this down here. Ta-da! We have our interchange. On to the next project, which is to build a more of a simple surface level interchange here. All right, I'm going to get in here. I'm going to delete a couple of sections of road in either direction. I'm going to come in with my landscaping tools. I want to shift terrain downward. So we'll come out. It's 180 degrees. Comes up to here. Yeah, look at that. Created a nice little bridge. Bang. We've got a bridge. So let's come in here and take that to about here. And then I can come in with a four lane divided road. It fits under there nice and neat. It seems like there's plenty of clearance. So let's come in here and level off this terrain because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a nice little, nice little roundabout in there. Then what we need to do is downgrade this bridge. We'll turn all of our snapping back on. Do that there, there, there. Do the same on the other side. Oh, come back. You guys should be flowing that direction. There, now we got access points for our roads to come in. Uh, and then I'm going to take this, this terrain. I'm going to drive that out till. yeah, it looks like it's starting to kind of match the level of the surrounding terrain. We're going to elevate this piece of road, too, to get over this railroad track down here at the bottom. But before we do that, we have to come in and uh, give ourselves access to this roundabout. So we're going to use our slope tool. And now we can take our access roads and just connect right on in. And I'm going to go past the uh, center point of that roundabout. We'll do the same thing on the other side. We're going to go past the uh, center point of that roundabout, come into about there, reverse direction, and nice. So now we've got access on this side of the roundabout. Very nice. Okay, then we're going to come across over here, and we're going to elevate our four-lane divided road. Now, I'm going to leave it there for now, and then we can go focus on the other end of this area, which has got that couplet down over there. So we're going to have to redo this, uh, this little section down in here, because what I want to do is get that, you know, the left side, this left one over here, to create a, a nice key wall there. Let's rebuild these over here. Next up, we got to bring in that harbor. We have to, wow, my eyes, oh, so white. Okay, so let's <laughs> let's bring that in down here somewhere. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that, I'm going to take that road out, that little gravel road. Kind of snaps to the shore, whatever the shore looks like. So here goes nothing. We'll come in here and we're going to snap to the uh, the actual building itself. I want to kind of run a road along this way. Yeah. And we'll, we'll get we'll get access in there. Yeah, that's pretty cool looking. And then we have to take this couplet road. I need to bend that back in and follow along kind of parallel to where that road is going now.
All right, so now we've got connectivity off of the freeway coming down here. And that's kind of a nice looking little road winding its way down through the forest. Okay, off camera, I decided I was going to move that harbor, that passenger harbor, right into the center of this this uh, shoreline over here. Give it a nice focal point for the district. As you kind of look out here, it becomes a nice centerpiece. And speaking of districts, let's go ahead and draw one of those in. Let's get a district. I haven't used the district tool yet, but I'm just going to you know, write, just kind of flesh one in here just so we've got one, uh, and then we can come in here and, and make some choices on it. And the name of this district is going to be Gateway Village. It's the gateway to get into Pangasus Bay and the continent of Grand Vanillica. Next up, we got to build our grid for our, our village down here. And we'll start by coming out here, grabbing this road, and we're going to go out, well, let's put it right about here. We'll come down, and then I want to give myself about that much room here. And then I'm going to come in and actually just kind of change the direction here. We're going to come, actually, we'll go straight up into this. We'll come off of that one, do the same thing here. And I'll just uh, flip that around once we get it in place. There we go. And I'm going to come in here and put a Connector road across, and connector road across. There we go. And now I envision having a little plaza sitting right across the right across the way from our our passenger harbor. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna do that. Yeah. We're gonna use a little seven by seven square pattern there. I like that. And then let's continue that out as we move along here. I like the idea of having kind of a grid pattern coming in through here. And I want to keep it away from the uh, the couplet if we can. And those are where, that's where the kind of the backs of some of our commercial shops are going to be. Now we can repeat our pattern as we move our way through this district. So just kind of continue right along these nice little seven by seven square patterns. Okay, now that we've laid that grid in nice and neat like that, let's grab our, our little firehouse and just going to drop that in here. Try and get that centered up in that square a little bit. Yeah, that's nice. And uh, I'm going to come in here with this bulldozer. We're going to try and create a little bit of a curve here. Let's see if I can bring that down into the center, bend off, and then come into the center of this one. And there you go. That satisfies our need for a road. And then just gives us a nice gentle curve there in front. So now we can come in here to this Prospect Street, blow that out, and we can build a nice little plaza through here. So then as you're looking out, as you're coming in from the harbor and you're looking across, you've got a nice little plaza. We're going to go in now and put some parking in over here by the cruise terminal. And that's going to go, let's flank this thing here on either side, try and make it uniform. And then we need to build some pedestrian bridges that cross over this busy couplet street because I really don't want to have crosswalks. We can start with our bridges. Oh, this cable stayed pedestrian bridge is pretty cool looking. Let's bring that up. We're going to go with six and a quarter. We're going to bring that across. We'll bring it in two squares on each. We're going to come across. There's five. Was it one, two, three, four, five there? Sure. Let's do that. Do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, five in. Come across. Bring that to there. Yeah, those are kind of cool looking. All right, now we're going to we're going to gently take these and swoop those down in so that they uh they intersect with our little crosswalks down here. Turn off our turn off all that stuff. We'll bring this all the way down to street level. See if I can't get into the corner there. Wow, that's a pretty sharp decline. Oh, but it's not bad. All right, let's do the same thing on the other side. There you go. Let's drop in a park like this. Yeah, that's nice. Just a nice little park there right in front of the cruise harbor, and we can do a little sidewalking. There we go. And we'll put some, put some trees in there, decorate that up light, nicely. 
Uh, then we've got this big plaza down here. So let's get in here and add some pathing to that. Can we go right down the middle here? Is there a... Yeah, there's a middle spot. Go right straight down the middle. Uh, and then we're going to come into the middle of this. There we go. And then let's create a nice little pattern. It's kind of an interesting looking design. Catches your eye, draws your attention right straight down to that firehouse. Nice. We've got our little plaza built in there, and now I'm just going to turn the game on, let it run for a little bit here. Just kind of get things going. Yeah. So that's that's really cool. We can start we can start zoning things in now. Uh, I see that we have a really high need for residential. So the way I was planning on zoning this up was I want some of this medium density row housing, but I'm going to use the European style to start. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to do, let's go three deep and then four wide, like they're five wide. So it starts filling in there. We're going to do that on that side of the park. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Yeah. And then we can run a sidewalk through there. And now we're going to start, uh, we're going to start filling in some residential in here. And I think it needs quite a bit of it. We're just going to continue to fill in here with some more of this European style. Yeah, like that. We can extend our grid pattern this way a little bit more too. These homes that are in here are really not intended to be long-term permanent residents, but rather just a place for many of the new immigrants, the new people moving into the you know, into the city to um, to be able to occupy for a little period of time, which is why I made these cute little houses. I think they're I think they're kind of cute. Look at that, just nice little houses. My intent is to kind of back come back in here and grab this pattern again, and just make this walkable. And I want to keep the European style houses kind of right down the middle here. As those fill in, it'll look really sharp. Now, uh, the the interesting thing here is now I want to take, and I want to switch to North American, and then I want to reorient those. So we've got a really neat look and feel over here with the European, kind of creating a an alley, but then I want these to be going the opposite direction. And we'll bring in our sidewalk. So as an example here, we'll just run this sidewalk all the way down to here, and we'll have the North American style fill in some of this here. Okay, there you go, there and there. And so that'll kind of become the consistent theme as we as we move our way through here. So the next thing I need to do is come in here and offer up some, you know, some places for people to work. And you can tell we've still got a nice housing demand. I want to get rid of some of this industry over here in our consular district. That's going to eventually migrate. Again, that was all put into place just for the purposes of getting things started. So, you know, in our next couple of episodes, that'll get migrated over here onto this island over here. We'll start working on that when we need to. In the meantime, let's bring in, you know, some shopping. And our shops are going to be in here. Things I want to do now is I want to create this kind of a jetty that comes out here. Really helps with defining that, that harbor space in there. But in order to do that, I want to first start with like a really low elevation. Let's grab that elevation and let's just push that out here and see what we get. See if it'll fill with water or if we can actually use this elevation. So if we can use this elevation, I got I got an idea. Okay. Uh, and the other next thing I want to do is we're going to create some definition here. We're going to come out and then I'm going to take this Elevation, I'm going to push it out even further. Because why not? Got the room. Let's take advantage of it now while we can. Okay. Now we're going to take that road and push it all the way out here to the edge. Sure. There we go. And then I want to grab this height and push that out. I'm going to go right down the middle of this road.
like it. Now this is going to be cool. Trust me, right? Starting to look good. Let's peel it all back now. Yeah, that's starting to look cool. Now let's build out like another jetty kind of a, a pier out here on this side too. Again, we're trying to protect that harbor as, as much as we can. Said we're going to put in a train station right smack in the middle of that square. And then we'll turn it off, put that in. Let's grab some tracks. It's going to be cool. Now, as you're emigrating in via the passenger ships, you can come right through this plaza that's running down the middle and ultimately brings you to this train station where you can explore the rest of the city. Now, there's a couple of assets that I want to bring in here that I think would be really cool in this space, and, and they are the bus depot and the uh, battery station. And then the bus station, I bet, fits in here. So it looks like one big, massive facility. But we'll put in a police station maybe somewhere near the tracks. What do you think? And I'll get the police station right up against that, that rail yard. Move it over just a touch. Yeah, okay, our police operating station district. We're going to select Gateway Village. And then I'll do the same thing with our fire station. Can we get medical in there? I think medical will fit just fine. Nice. So now we've got dedicated services to this area, which is important because we're going to have, eventually it's going to get pretty uh, densely populated. All right. So you know, obviously we've got some forestry here we can take advantage of. I think there's some uh, agriculture land down here too, as well. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, lots of it. Oh wow. Okay. So I think this would be a good little spot to just drop in a couple of little, you know, just like a little uh, tiny farms. We can do that. That'd be fun. And a uh, little, little forestry going on in there. This would be a great little spot for some, some stone mining. Let's put a little stone mining thing in here. And I'm going to move him all the way out to the edge here. Now stone. Cool. Awesome. Start cranking that out now. We'll come across here. Set up a lumber industry. This is fun. I haven't done any of these things just yet. Kind of learning as I go. Let's see what that looks like. Well, this is pretty cool. So we'll come out here.
now we've got our forestry industry in. That's that's really neat. And I think we've got, again, that agriculture is pretty close by too. Let's see what kind of farming we can do. I'm going to start with a grain farm because people got to eat. Let's get the other one now. This one's going to be carrots. Now we've got some logging, we got some grain, we got some carrots, we've got real live industry now. Now as this area grows, I think I think we're going to need to bring in a, an elementary school. You know, it's going to it's going to be a pretty good sized population eventually. And I think this space down in here might be a good space because it's in the you know it's in the neighborhood, uh, and it's also got some room for expansion. So let's see what that looks like. Let's go grab uh, an elementary school. Yeah, sure. And if I put it right down there at the end of that kind of like green space. So you've got a nice elementary school sitting in there too and taking care of your neighborhood. Wow. It's starting to take shape. The Gateway Village. I like it. So this feels like a really good place for a detailing time lapse. And I know we've got a ton of stuff to do and I look forward to seeing the completed product. <laughs> I'm as curious as you are. Okay, so sit back, relax, enjoy some music, and let's get into that detailing time lapse.
<laughs> Welcome back from the time lapse. And this is Gateway Village. Wow, what a transformation in this space. And I really love the way this whole thing turned out. There's a ton to unpack here, so let's just go ahead and dive right on in. I'm gonna take you down to our little agriculture area where we've got all of our farms set up. We've got chickens, we're uh, raising chickens, we're growing grain, we're growing carrots, and we're really putting the, you know, the, the raw materials in place so that we can stop relying on outside connections for all of those. So I think that should serve our community nicely. And then we move on to our farming area. And we've got two different lumber companies that have set up shop here in this forest. They're going through and harvesting the trees, as you can see, and they're replanting with saplings. Now, those saplings are a little smaller than our native trees, but they'll grow back nicely. <laughs> All right, continuing on down, we've got our train station. And our train station sets right at the uh, kind of the tail end of our massive plaza that we've got. And the train station's not connected to any place yet, but it does have the rails set up both going east out of town and west out of town. So we've got our rail connection all set up and we're ready for expansion. We'll continue on down into the plaza where we started with our little firehouse in the center. And I thought that was just a cute, quaint little piece to really start the build with. And then of course, we've got this beautiful plaza space over here that's full of bushes and, and trees and so forth. Just really is a grand design. And then I framed it all up with these European style row houses because I just thought they were so cute and so elegant. I thought it fit really well with the design of this plaza. We then continued on with some North American style row houses, as you can see, and just to fill in, you know, just to give it some additional uh, additional density in, into the space. And so those are, those are taking shape and they're a nice contrast to that European style. We also dotted in a couple of community plazas, just as nice little outdoor spaces for people to congregate and hang out with their neighbors. <laughs> We also stuck a little quarry in down here along the shore. I think that turned out nicely. You can see the stone that they're that they're busy mining there to you know, serve as, as raw materials for our road maintenance crew and our building teams. So we've got that now as a as a you know expanded service as well. And then we'll turn our attention to the star of the show, and that of course is our harbor. This was a, uh, a massive undertaking, and, and we talked about it early on, but boy, I sure do like the way that this turned out. We built a couple of jetties that run out on both the left side and the right side to give that harbor a little bit of extra shelter from, you know, from stormy seas. And I think that is a, it's a nice little safe place for cruise ships to come and go. We also decorated it quite heavily. So as you see, we're gonna jump down here to the left to this, this park. We have this beautiful, elegant park and promenade really that serve right on the base of this jetty that runs out into the uh, into the middle of the harbor. So you've got a nice park for people to unwind. And then this promenade, I envision people just maybe going for a stroll and watching all of the cruise ships come and go with all of the new arrivals to Pangasas Bay. We use some raised um, raised sidewalks to, to really kind of give the look and feel of docks. Maybe those docks are for pleasure craft. And then we used the um, sidewalks for key walls here, which was a little bit of a challenge because they're narrower than roads. And so they, they're a little fussier to deal with when you're using them as key walls, but we got it done. <laughs> we got it done. Wow. So that is Gateway Village. And again, I hope you guys enjoyed watching that as much as I enjoyed making it. It sure was a lot of fun. And I'm really excited that this is our our launch point, if you will, into Pangasis Bay. I know it's episode two. Uh, we had episode one, and as we talked about in that episode, it was more just learning the game, and, and we're still learning. There is a lot to learn in City Skylines too, but uh, I am really having fun with this. <laughs> well, that about wraps up this episode, and I want to bid you a fond farewell for now. So uh, remember, if you saw something that you liked today, Go ahead and chip away at that like button and then hammer that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all the things that are going on here in Pangasis Bay and Grand Vanillica. All right. Well, on that note, good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs>